In this lesson, I'm gonna refining the I part. So first of all, we shouldn't just create model. We should create a model which is animatable. For that, we should think from that point of view, from that perspective. The eye area doesn't have enough resolution to deform properly. Basically the eyelid area. So we have to put, we should put an edge loop here. At least a single edge should be there. So let's go to the insert edge loop tool and add an edge loop here. At least one edge loop should be there. So that when the eye will be closed, so there will be something which will hold the shape right to deform properly you can put more but uh, one is what we need and we have to adjust a little bit let's take the move tool and just create that little arc there select and move these vertices okay so with that being said let's put an edge loop here this area is going to deform as well so let's put an edge loop there in this area okay so next the tear duck so it's missing right now so let's take let's go to polygon menu for some of the reason my polygon is not showing so let's go to the menu polygon primitives and let's take a plane let's move that plane and rotate it 90 degree and I don't want uh, much resolution right now so let's decrease the resolution to 5 or 6 something and let's take move tool let's scale that down let's go to the side view go to front view position that put the setting okay so we are almost done just put that plane there and the tear duck is something balls like shape here so just select these vertices and pull those Okay, so next the eyelaces. For the eyelaces, let's select this and make it a live object. Click on this icon here to make this a live object so that when I create a CV curve tool, it will match the surface. So let's go create curve tools and take the CV curve tool here and click. Although there are some different method as well to do this, but this is the way I like to do this because I don't don't have to adjust the polygons. It's already curved and perfectly matched. So then turn off the make live option after creating the curve. Then the pivot is not there. Pivot is in the center. So just to bring that pivot to the center of this curve. Go to modify and click on center pivot so that pivot is in the center. So next, just duplicate this curve. Go to edit and duplicate. Duplicate this curve and put that, just move that in a diagonal 45 degree angle to here. Okay, we need to adjust that curve a little bit, change that curve. So this is basically the starting point of the hair eyelashes and this is the end so I'm trying to do that 
and obviously at the end at this area the hair is the longest and this area it's the shortest so just put that close here okay so let's we can duplicate this curve again because if I uh, loved in between this curve it will create a straight plane there so let's duplicate this again duplicate and put that in middle put that in both of the middle area and again just refresh this okay next select in order start from here then shift select this one then click on this one so you should select in this order or you can start from here to here but uh, you should select in a serial manner so that the loft works properly then go to surface click on loft so you will get that iris uh, sorry eyelashes so do the same technique at the end uh, at the bottom so let's take the civic up tool again uh, sorry let's make life first civic up tool you can see i'm putting that curve i'm creating that curve on the edge of the eyelid so don't create that at the edge here or somewhere else just and I'm not taking that curve to exactly the corner. You can do the same thing, just select make not live and duplicate the curve. Basically, do the same process. Modify center pivot to bring that pivot, duplicate. And the difference between the upper eyelid and the bottom eyelid is uh, the upper eyelid here are longest they are uh, more longer than the bottom so keep it in short here again the same thing short hair is here longer hair is here so just like that and again duplicate it again modify center pivot oh then keep that in between okay then again select in a order in a serial order then locked here you can see it's uh, it's in black that means the surface is reverse so it's a north surface and that's why uh, I'm gonna reverse from here surface menu reverse direction if it's a polygon piece then go to mesh display reverse because it's a knobs it doesn't work here it's for polygon reverse so go to surface and reverse direction here okay so I'm done with my eyes so in the next lesson I'll uh, refine the nose so see you